next we come to flexi dented ligands so fortunately this is the last type of ligands that we have to study because i know there has been a lot of dented dented and dented so everything is mixed up but this is the last type of ligands that we have to study so what are flexi dented ligands flexi dented ligands if i can say they are ligands which are moody so these ligands can show variable denticity mostly they show monodented behavior as well as bidented behavior bidented is also known as didented so that's the same thing so as i said they are moody ligands so whether they are going to show the monodented behavior or whether they are going to show the bidented behavior depends upon the metal cation we have an example of no3 negative or co32 negative these are flexi dented ligands now let's look at that let's say this is the cation and the cation is small and in another case there is a cation but the cation is a larger cation so if no3 negative is coming towards the smaller cation then in order to act as bidented ligands both of these at bonds should come closer to the metal atom they will need come ne they will need to come closer so that they can form a ring type of structure and act as a bidented ligand but in case of a larger cation you will see that both of these bonds they need not come much closer to the metal atom or the metal ion because the metal atom is already large enough that it can directly at its place coordinate and form the bonds with both of the oxygen atom so if the metal is large the ligand will behave as bidentate the metal cation is large the ligand is going to show bidentate behavior and if the metal cation is small the ligand will show monodented behavior because if you look at it if the metal cation is small this means both of the oxygen atoms need to come close to each other so that they can come close to the metal atom and if both of the oxygens are coming close to each other they are going to repel each other and repulsion is not a good force in chemistry we try to avoid repulsion as much as possible whereas if the metal cation is large like this is a metal cation then the oxygen atoms it need not come close to each other they are happy where they are where they are they get to coordinate with the metal atom so there is no repulsion and hence they can act as a bidentate ligand similar uh, reasons are given for co32 negative also